I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. What's going on everyone? It's me, Devin Harris, here with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about or showing you guys uh, the OBS broadcaster software. This is for version 19.0.3. Um, and, and the point of the video today really is to give you guys a general idea of what settings to use to get the best possible output. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get rid of my text here. As you can see, I'm using the OBS broadcaster software, which uh, has a lot of really cool tools in regards to uh, uh, streaming in general. All right. So here, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my video or my image here. And I'm going to show you my beautiful face. Boom, here I am, me, Devin. Okay, so just to give, give you guys a general idea in regards to me using the software, um, I initially started off with XSplit streaming to Twitch, um, and I found that my my video output was extreme, extremely laggy, okay? So I didn't like that. I had to find an alternative. Also, I also found using XSplit, um, uh, this, it, it uses a high CPU usage, and uh, in return, it slowed down the performance of my PC on top of the streaming to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, whatever case may be. Had to find a different route. And so I fell into OBS software. I found the, new, the, the newest version, um, downloaded it, everything. And after applying specific settings, these settings I'm going to show you guys here in just a few, a few seconds. Um, I've learned that uh, uh, by applying the different settings, at, in addition to using the OBS opposed to, opposed to XSplit, unless you have a gaming PC, um, the, the the stream or the output is phenomenal, okay? Making these specific changes uh, will change everything for you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get started so that we don't have a long video here. I am going to, uh, let's see, let's start off by showing you my display. Once I do this, I am going to shorten up my video no nope, yep my video capture here let's make myself small here since i am in the way of everything and i'm going to throw myself right here in the corner okay and let's go ahead and throw the software here okay so this is obs of course now let me go ahead and tell you whenever you uh whenever you first install the application and you open it up I kid you not, it has an auto configuration setting, or uh, it's in beta currently, but it what it does basically, it sets up your stream for Twitch for you, or whatever uh, whatever application you're using. It's setting that process up for you. So all it's doing is literally, it's gonna have you sign into the application you're using, um, and typically you get some type of stream key whenever you're doing it manually. You still do this, you're gonna copy and paste that into uh, the auto configuration wizard. And then basically it walks through the steps for you. So uh, guys, it's extremely user friendly. You literally don't have to do anything at all except that copy and paste. You're gonna let every uh, let the the application do everything else for you. Okay. This is this is uh, another reason why I like this uh, application over XSplit. Simply put, because it it takes care of this process for you. So you're not killing yourself going through finding all the settings and whatnot. Okay. So. Long story short, here's the auto configuration wizard. I can't show you it right now simply put because I'm recording at this time. However, here's the button just in case you do go through the wizard you uh, and you want to go through it again. You can simply go here, press auto configuration wizard and it does it for you. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my settings, go to stream. And this is basically where it sets everything up for you. Here's the stream key. Again, all you're doing is simply copying and pasting that in uh, into the auto configuration wizard. Again, once you do that, it walks through everything else for you, okay? Um, the really important key about your stream key, don't share this with anybody. Um, if you do, they're going to be using your stream, which it, you don't want that to happen, okay? Um, so that pretty much wraps it up in regards to getting your stream set up for Twitch. Um, again, it's literally, uh, it literally sets everything up for you, so um, you don't really have to worry much on that. I'm going to go ahead and run through these settings here. Uh, so that you guys can possibly set this up just like mine and get literally the the best output for you whenever you're streaming okay nothing on your general tab is going to change uh, change anything in regards to streaming okay i just want to go ahead and throw that out there i changed my th my theme to dark because it looks better looks way cooler stream just showed you this if you don't like the server that it picks on the auto configuration wizard of course you can go back in change it yourself all right um Output. All right. So really important. I'm going to skip video a bit, right? Because I'm going to show you a really cool tool 
uh, to uh, choose the best possible bit rate for you on your device itself. All right, uh, your encoder you want to leave it at uh, times 264. Same goes for audio bit rate. Everything else you want to stay uh, stay the same. Encoder per preset is really important. Basically, what this is is basically uh, so uh, whatever you depending on what type of PC you have. If it's a gaming PC and you have a really good CPU or uh, processor on it, you want to go lower. Okay, so that means it's going to be using less CPU, as it explains here. The higher you go, um, uh, I'm sorry, sorry about that. The the higher you go is going to be using less CPU, opposed to the lower you go, the 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 uh, the more it's using. And typically, if you have a really good PC, that's the type of uh, setting you're going to use, uh, fast and below. Me, I'm using very fast. You guys can do the same. You probably want to work around with it, uh, uh, changing the settings, and then checking out your stream to see how well the changes apply, taking effect. Okay. Um, everything else you want to keep the same. Oh, on your recording settings here, um, you want to keep your recording quality same as stream, as well as your recorded format. You want to go and throw that to MP4 so you don't have to convert the video over to whatever it is. Because I found using MP4 when you're uploading it uh, to YouTube uh, is a lot quicker. So keep that in mind. All right. So audio, there's nothing here you want to change. Video. Um, your base canvas resolution, you want to keep this to whatever your resolution is uh, for your PC in general or your screen. I have it set to 1600 by 900. However, your output, I changed that to 1280 by 720 simply put because it still looks good and you're not using a lot whenever you're streaming uh, over to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, whatever the case is. Um, this would be the best resolution. I would advise you guys doing the same. Uh, your downscale filter, you want to use the option for fastest blurry but blurry if scaling, okay? And of course, your common FPS values. Um, you want to put that down to 30. Um, that would be the best choice. Or you can try 60 as well. I found using 30 is uh, the best for me. Uh, I would advise doing the same for you guys. But again, each PC will work differently. So um, you can play around with those settings, either 30 or 60. Hotkeys, uh, unless you have specific keys you want to use, you can use this process. And advanced. All right, so here's a really, really important piece to this uh to, to the settings that we're applying here, okay? Um, process priority. Typically, it's on normal, okay? You guys will probably see it as normal. Go ahead and set that as high, all right? Once you do that, once you set it to high, you're gonna hit okay, open up your task manager, okay? And you're gonna go to uh, details and find the game that you're playing, all right? For me, I would be playing uh, Battlegrounds Unknown. You're gonna find that executable for that game, and mine would be Battlegrounds uh, Unknown. Right now, I don't have it pulled up, but simply what you would do is again, you're gonna find that executable. All right. Once you find it, I'm just gonna pick a random one here, just to give you guys a general idea of what to do. Once you, and again, it has to be the specific game you're using. You're gonna right click, go to Set Priority. You want to go to above normal, all right? What this is doing is basically you're having this process above every other process so that when you're playing a game, it goes through this process first, all right? That's part of the issue whenever you're streaming. It's not seen, it doesn't have a specific priority um, in regards to the processes that uh, on your task uh, for your PC itself. So you want to set that to above normal. With that being the only one set to above normal, you know, that's going to be highest priority, all right? You don't want to use high. Um, above normal should be fine to use alright so once you do that uh, you want to go ahead and um, uh, start your stream and look at what this does guys I, I swear to you I promise you uh, it will give you a way better stream just literally no lag whatsoever I tried this beforehand and after and when I tell you the changes that I uh, ran into it's uh, completely fast, uh, fantastic, guys. So uh, please give it a shot. So one more thing before we end up here. Um, as I said, I'm gonna, I was going to come back to your bitrate setting. So Twitch actually has a really cool tool to figure out what, it's, what is the best bitrate to use for you. Um, right now, I have mine set to 2,500. What you can do is to, to figure this out, guys, you can go to this website that Twitch has. Um, uh, or this, I'm sorry, this tool is called the Inspector. Twitch. TV. Basically, you can run a stream test and figure out your best bitrate. I can actually do this for you right now, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this portion here of uh, including the the uh, question mark. So you're gonna copy, close that, 
open up your software again go to stream and basically add it to the end of your stream all right got my added and I apply okay all right so now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start streaming it's not gonna actually create a stream uh, it's basically doing a little test for you to measure that out so I'm gonna let that stream begin we're gonna go back to the website and what's gonna happen is um, you want to give it a few seconds just to figure out what what's the most stable point of your bitrate um, right now it's saying it's stable I'm gonna give it a few more minutes uh, to run through that so that uh, it can give me the best possible measure of my bitrate. All right. Um, so again, I'm gonna while we wait on that, I'm gonna run through these settings one last time so you guys just to make sure you have a clear understanding of what to be using. Your output again, um, you want to leave your encoder to 264 um, preset very fast if you have a, a, a normal PC quote unquote. You want to leave your recording quality the same as stream and change that format to MP4. Um, your video again change your output scale resolution to a, a, at least a 1280 by 720 again depending on what type of PC you have you want to choose the best possible uh, uh, resolution whenever you're streaming I find this being the best um, again your downscale filter you want to change this to fastest but blurry if it's scaling FPS 30 in advance you want to change your process priority to high okay that's literally it these will give you the best the best outcome in regards to your output all right so let's go back to our uh, our bitrate tool here, and as you can see, I'm, I'm most stable at about 2,445 kbps, and me, I'm I'm rounding up to about 2,500. All right, and so if you go back to my settings, as you can see, my output is at 2,500. Okay, and again, um, you see, I'm in, I have a green light here. Everything, if there's no drop frames, everything works fantastic, guys. Even with my CPU usage, usage right now it's only at a at seventy percent, and it's, it varies in regards uh, to what I'm using and whatnot. But um, whenever I have the game up, it literally the CPU usage, usage probably tops up out at about eighty five or ninety percent, which is bad. It's not that good, but uh, compared to XSplit, I was using ninety nine percent all of the time. So, um, guys, this pretty much wraps everything up uh, in regards to the best settings. To apply to your twitch uh, or to to your uh, OBS software in general please give these a shot if it works for you click that sub button because I have more for you guys all right um, I appreciate you guys listening in and if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to comment below again I appreciate everything and I hope you guys have a fantastic day